meet the fans who are standing up for Michael Jackson. He was shy. He was also funny. He was also very sweet. Anika Kotecha is remembering the Michael Jackson she knew. The one she visited at Neverland and who used to phone her up to marvel at her trips to the supermarket. He'd go, you went to the shops? Oh wow, what was that like? And for me, I just went to pick up some bread and milk, but for him that's amazing because he can't go and do that. It's quite sad as well, but he was just the nicest guy. Kotecha says meeting the man in the mirror singer makes it hard for her to believe the rumors and accusations of child abuse that dogged him in life and in death. It does put a slant on these things, she says. You compare it to the person you knew, and I feel stronger in my convictions because of that. Kotecha is speaking to the BBC after the broadcast of Leaving Neverland, a four-hour TV documentary which laid out the case against Jackson in grueling graphic detail last week on Channel 4 and HBO. It focuses on two men, Wade Robson and James Safekuk, both in their late 30s, who allege the star befriended them as children, then sexually abused them for years. The Jackson family has already fired back at the film, calling it a public lynching and the ultimate betrayal and they are not the only ones to dispute the claims. Fans have congregated around the hashtags hash MJINNOCENT and hash MJFAM, posting lengthy rebuttals to the documentary on YouTube, social media and specially constructed websites. They've protested outside Channel 4's headquarters and even bought adverts on London buses carrying the slogan, Facts don't lie, people do. Dan.